So I made a new instrument, this time based on a Commodore 64, a guitar strap and three touch sensitive metal rods. The right hand plays notes and melodies, and once again I'm using a keyboard layout inspired by the chromatic button accordion. The left hand is all about musical expression and phrasing. Each rod controls an aspect of the sound, and at least for now these are fixed functions. The first rod controls the volume. The second rod is a pitch bend, one octave. And this is an absolute pitch bend. The third rod is a relative pitch bend. So wherever you put your finger down, that's the starting point, and then you can bend up or down. The pitch bend rods also work like a sustain pedal, making the notes longer. So the left hand shapes the sound, but there's also an important expressive control in the right hand, and that's on the space bar. If you hold space and press down on a note key, 
the instrument will glide up to that note. And if you hold space when releasing a note key, you get a fretted glide down. So let's put all of this together. How do the rods work? Well, perhaps not the way you think. The rods are sensitive to touch. The C64 can detect touch on some of its inputs, more or less by accident. But these old machines are very sensitive to electrostatic discharge. So if you walk across a carpet or cuddle with a cat and then touch the ports, you can easily damage the chips inside. So I made a simple buffer circuit that goes between myself and the delicate C64 inputs. The schematics for this are on my website and there's a link in the video description. But with or without a buffer, the C64 can only detect presence or absence of touch. So the rods act as simple on-off switches. This thing here is a distance meter. Like a laser tape measure, it works by firing a brief laser pulse at my hand. The light is reflected and comes back after a few nanoseconds. This round trip time is proportional to the distance and the value is communicated to the C64 via the user port. So when I play, it's not the position of my finger on the rod that makes a difference, it's the position of my hand. And the rods are there to guide my hand in the direction of the laser beam. I'm not sure what to call this instrument, so please let me know in the comments what you think. One possible name is the QWERTAR, because it's a QWERTY keyboard that works like a guitar or keytar. Or, since this is an 8-bit computer, it might be a bit fiddle. Or shreddy, for shredding with a ready prompt. Or whatever else you can come up with. So, I'll be watching the comments and watching the amount of likes on the comments, and maybe next time I see you we'll have a name for this thing. Until then, take care.